Hello students, welcome to Aadhan classes. I hope you found our previous videos helpful. In this video we are providing most important and researched current affairs question answers with explanation. These questions will prove very helpful in all incoming competitive exams. Question 1. Who has been elected as the new president of Nigeria in 2023? A. Bola Tinubu. B. Atiku Abubakar. C. Kashim Shetima. D. Pervez Hashim. The correct answer is A. Bola Tinubu. Tinubu is to succeed President Muhammadu Buhari, a former general who has served the maximum to terms allowed by Nigeria's constitution. Question 2. World's first bamboo crash barrier was installed and tested at where? A. Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh. B. Patna, Bihar. C. Imasur, Karnataka. D. Vidarbh, Maharashtra, India. The correct answer is Vidarbh, Maharashtra, India. India developed the world's first bamboo-made crash barrier and installed it on the Vanivarora Highway in Vidarbh, Maharashtra. Question 3. Which state has announced plans to construct a 6,134 crore dam at Hatnibund, A. Uttarakhand? B. Uttar Pradesh C. Haryana D. Gujarat The correct answer is C. Haryana The Haryana state government has intended to construct a dam costing 6,134 crore rupees to avoid another flooding event caused by the Yamuna in Delhi and nearby Haryana regions. Question 4. Kalyan Mastu and Shadi Tofa schemes are implemented by which state? A. Kerala B. Karnataka C. Andhra Pradesh D. Odisha The correct answer is C. Andhra Pradesh Recently, Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Y.S. Jagan Mohan Reddy provided financial aid to qualified individuals under the YSR Kalyan Mastu and YSR Shadi Tofa programs. Question 5. USA has approved the sale of $619 million in munitions for F-16 fighter jets to which country? A. Ukraine B. Taiwan C. India D. Pakistan The correct answer is B. Taiwan The US State Department has approved a possible $619 million sale to Taiwan of infrared search and track systems for F-16 fighter jets, as well as other equipment. Question 6. Indian Coast Guard signed a MO with its counterpart of which country on enhanced maritime cooperation for the first time? A. Philippines. B. Maldives. C. Sri Lanka. D. France. The correct answer is A. Philippines. Indian Coast Guard has signed a Memorandum of Understanding, MO, with Philippine Coast Guard, PCG, on enhanced maritime cooperation. Question 7. Under which project, scientists have discovered a hidden passage inside Egypt's Great Pyramid? A. Scan Pyramids Projects B. Search Mummy Projects C. Discover Giza Project D. Discover Age Project The correct answer is A. Scan Pyramids Project The Scan Pyramids mission is an Egyptian international project designed and led by Cairo University and the French Hip Institute. Heritage Innovation Preservation This project aims at scanning Old Kingdom Egyptian pyramids, Khufu, Khafre, the Bent and the Red, to detect the presence of unknown internal voids and structures. Question 8. When did Russia launch its first Islamic banking pilot program, and what was its purpose? A. 4th September, for non-interest banking. B. 1st September, to explore Sharia-based finance. C. 1st October, Cooperative Banking D. 2nd October, Banking for All The correct answer is B. 1st September, to explore Sharia-based finance. Question 9. What is the new name of Khelu India Women's League? A. Asmita Women's League B. Aspire Women's League C. Fit India Women's League D. Bharat Women's League The correct answer is a. Asmita Women's League Union Minister for Youth Affairs and Sports Anurag Singh Thakur has announced that the Khelo India Women's League will officially be known as Asmita Women's League. 
Question 10. Where was the 2023 World Weightlifting Championships held? A. Pune, India. B. Moscow, Russia. C. Glasgow, UK. D. Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The correct answer is Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Question 11. Which country has unveiled its latest domestically built drone named Mojir 10? A. Israel. B. UAE. C. Iran. D. Malaysia. The correct answer is C. Iran. Iran unveiled its latest domestically built drone named Mojir 10 with enhanced capabilities like flying at a higher altitude for a longer duration and the ability to carry a greater payload. Question 12. Which region of the People's Republic of China received the heaviest rainfall in nearly 140 years on 8 September 2023? A. Xinjiang B. Tibet C. Ningxia D. Hong Kong The correct answer is D. Hong Kong Hong Kong, China received the heaviest rainfall in nearly 140 years on 8 September 2023. Question 13 which country has successfully transplanted a womb to a woman? A. India B. UK C. USA D. Germany Correct answer. B. UK British doctors have successfully transplanted a womb to a 36-year-old woman. She is preparing to get her own embryo implanted in this womb. Question 14 who became first woman to be appointed chairperson of the Railway Board by the Government of India? A. Jaya Varma Sinha B. Nalini Kherabadi C. Suhasini Joshi D. Vijaya Reddy The correct answer is A. Jaya Varma Sinha Question 15 What was the increase in MSP per quintal for wheat for Rabi crops in 2024-25? to A. 150 rupees B. 105 rupees. C. 200 rupees. D. 115 rupees. The correct answer is A. 150 rupees. Question 16. Bishan Singh Bedi has passed away. He was associated with which sports? A. Hockey. B. Cricket. C. Football. D. Lawn Tennis. The correct answer is B. Cricket. Former Indian cricket team captain Bishan Singh Bedi passed away after a prolonged illness. He was 77 years old. Bishan Singh Bedi played 67 tests for India between 1967 and 1979 and took 266 wickets. Question 17. The government has increased dearness allowance, DA, for central government employees and pensioners by 4 percentage points. What is the DA after this increase effective from July 2023? A. 42% B. 43% C. 44% D. 46% The correct answer is D. 46% Question 18 Who is the present Director General of World Trade Organization, WTO? A. Christine Lagarde B. Angela Merkel C. Nagoji Okonjoivela D. Justin Trudeau The correct answer is C. Nagoji Okonjoivela Nagoji Okonjoivela is the current Director General of the WTO, becoming the first woman and the first African to hold the post. Question 19 Which of the following countries hosted the Water Technology and Environment Control Conference? A. Japan B. Israel C. Nepal D. India The correct answer is B. Israel Question 20 Who has become the new chairman of Amul? A. Valmajibhai Hambal B. Manish Bandlish C. Shamal Bhai B. Patel D. R. S. Sodhi The correct answer is C. Shamal Bhai B. Patel Shamal Bhai B. Patel has become the new chairman of Amul. Question 21 Exercise Talisman Saber is an annual military exercise conducted between which two countries? A. Australia and Canada B. Australia and New Zealand C. Australia and Japan 
D. Australia and the United States. The correct answer is D. Australia and the United States. Exercise Talisman Sabre is Australia's largest bilateral military exercise conducted jointly with the United States. Question 22. Which is the first cricket team to score more than 300 runs in T20? A. Nepal B. Bangladesh C. South Africa D. India The correct answer is A. Nepal Nepal became the first team to score more than 300 runs in T20 is by scoring a total of 314 runs against Mongolia at the Asian Games, China. Question 23 In which year was the decision review system, DRS, in cricket launched? A. 2005, born in 2006, circa 2008, D. 2010 The correct answer is, circa 2008. DRS stands for Decision Review System. It is a technology-driven process that helps umpires make more accurate decisions on the field. DRS was introduced in 2008. Question 24. Who has been appointed as the assistant coach by Rajasthan Royals? A. Zaheer Khan B. Javagal Srinath C. Glenn McGrath D. Shane Bond the correct answer is D. Shane Bond. IPL franchise Rajasthan Royals have roped in former New Zealand fast bowler Shane Bond as an assistant coach. Question 25. Where was the first edition of Indian Military Heritage Festival inaugurated? A. Mumbai B. Bangalore C. Chennai D. New Delhi The correct answer is D. New Delhi. The Defence Minister of India, Sri Rajnath Singh inaugurated the first edition of the Indian Military Heritage Festival in New Delhi on 21 October 2023. Question 26. What is India's rank on the Global Pension Index 2023? A. 45 B. 46 C. 47 D. 48 The correct answer is A. 45th India's rank on the Global Pension Index 2023 has dropped to 45th position out of 47 countries. Question 27. Which country recently opened its first crossy bullet train? A. Russia B. China C. UAE D. Israel The correct answer is B. China China recently opened its first cross-sea bullet train connecting major cities in southeastern Fujia province. Question 28. Which state's women's badminton team won the first gold medal of the 37th National Games? A. Karnataka B. Assam C. Tamil Nadu D. Kerala The correct answer is B. Assam. The Assam women's badminton team won its first gold medal of the 37th National Games, while Karnataka won the mains final. Question 29. Which food delivery platform has partnered with IRCTC to offer pre-booked meals to rail passengers? A. Zomato B. Swiggy C. DoorDash D. Uber Eats The correct answer is A. Zomato IRCTC has partnered with Zomato to offer pre-booked meals to rail passengers. Question 30. The ferry seen in the news is which country's laboratory in the International Space Station? A. Russia B. USA C. Israel D. China The correct answer is A. Russia The ferry, also known as the Multipurpose Laboratory Module Upgrade, MLM, serves as the primary laboratory in the Russian orbital section of the International Space Station. Question 31. Which was the first major sports event to offer equal prize money to men and women? A. BWF World Championship B. US Open C. Australia Open D. NBA World Championship The correct answer is B. US Open the 50th anniversary of the US Open becoming the first sporting event to offer equal prize money to men and women was recently held. Question 32. Consider the following. 1. Arogya Setu. 2. Kodabluine. 
3. Digilocker 4. Diksha Which of the above are built on top of open-source digital platforms? A. 1 and 2 only B. 2 3 and 4 only C. 1 3 and 4 only D. 1 2 3 and 4 The correct answer is D. 1 2 3 and 4 Question 33 Which of the following country will host women's FIH Hockey Olympic qualifiers? A. China B. India C. Germany D. Spain The correct answer is B. India India to host women's FIH Hockey Olympic qualifiers Question 34 Which military force won the gold medal at the 2023 Cambrian Patrol Military Exercise? A. British Army B. Indian Army C. Royal Australian Army D. United States Army The correct answer is B. Indian Army the Indian Army's three-fifths Gorkha rifles secured the gold medal at the 2023 Cambrian Patrol Competition, held in Wales, UK. Question 35. Kinjal missile, that was recently making news, is developed by which country? A. USA B. France C. Russia D. Israel The correct answer is C. Russia the first Su-34 bomber crew to launch a Kinjal missile in Ukraine received state awards. The Cage 47 M2, known as Kinjal, Dagger, is a Russian air-launched hypersonic ballistic missile. Question 36. Who defeated the world's number one chess player, Magnus Carlsen, at the Qatar Masters? A. Pragnananda, B. Kartikeyan Murli. C. Bukesh D. D. Krishnan Shashikiran The correct answer is B. Kartikeyan Murli Kartikeyan Murli is a 24-year-old Indian chess grandmaster who achieved a historic victory over Magnus Carlsen at the Qatar Masters. Question 37 Bayrock technology is talked about in which one of the following situations? A. Restoration of damaged coral reefs B. Development of building materials using plant residues C. Identification of areas for exploration extraction of shell gas D. Providing salt licks for wild animals in forest protected areas The correct answer is A. Restoration of damaged coral reefs Question 38 Which of the following are not the winners of Durga Bharat Awards presented by West Bengal Ghana in October 2023? A. Pandit Ajoy Chakrabarti B. Garden Reach Shipbuilders Engineers C. Chandrayan Team D. Julan Goswami The correct answer is D. Julan Goswami As part of the annual Durga Bharat Awards launched by the Raj Bhavan in West Bengal, music legend Pandit Ajoy Chakrabarti and Garden Reach Shipbuilders Engineers Shantiniketan Viswabharti and Chandrayaan team were honoured by Governor Dr. C. V. Ananda Bose in a gala function at the Raj Bhavan. Question 39. Where are the remains of Nero's theatre recently discovered? A. Italy B. France C. Germany D. Hungary The correct answer is A. Italy In Rome, Italy Archaeologists have recently discovered the remains of Nero's theatre, which is an ancient imperial theatre mentioned in historical texts. Question 40. Who has been roped in by Puma as its brand ambassador? A. Rohit Sharma B. Virat Kohli C. Mohammad Shami D. Jaspreet Bumrah The correct answer is C. Mohammad Shami Mohammad Shami is a prominent Indian fast bowler who has been roped in by Puma as its brand ambassador. Question 41. What is the theme of the National Science Day 2023? A. Sustainable Science B. Global Science for Global Wellbeing C. Behavioral Science D. Atmanirbhar India and Science the correct answer is B. Global Science for Global Well-Being Union Minister of State Science Technology, Dr. Jitendra Singh released the theme for the National Science Day 2023, titled Global Science for Global Well-Being. Question 42 
who became the first Indian American to be a judge of the Manhattan Federal District Court in New York. A. Naresh Chauhan. B. Arun Bhagat. C. Arun Subramaniam. D. Rajiv Desai. The correct answer is Arun Subramanian. Question 43. Isle of Rum, which was seen in the news, is located in which country? A. Scotland. B. Australia. C. Philippines. D. Japan. The correct answer is A. Scotland. NASA is using rocks from Scotland's Isle of Rum to practice testing methods for examining Martian rocks, as they share similarities in geological, mineral, and chemical content. Question 44. What was the profession of P. V. Gangadharan, who passed away recently? A. Politician B. Film producer C. Journalist D. Businessman the correct answer is B. Film Producer P. V. Gangadharan was a renowned Malayalam film producer. Question 45 Which two countries launched the Young Professionals Scheme for Nationals aged between 18 and 30? A. India and UK B. USA and UK C. Australia and China D. Japan and Indonesia The correct answer is a. India and UK Question 46 Which country is set to remove extra tariffs on Australian barley as ties improve between the two countries? A. India B. China C. Sri Lanka D. Germany The correct answer is B. China China said that it will remove extra tariffs on Australian barley in the latest improvement of ties between the two after years of tensions. Question 47. Which country claimed to have found a deposit containing 8.5 million metric tons of lithium ore? A. Uzbekistan B. Egypt C. Russia D. Iran Answer, D. Iran Question 48. Who left Google to spread awareness about the growing threats of AI to society? A. Sergey Brin B. Jeffrey Hinto C. Jeff Dean D. Larry Page The correct answer is B. Jeffrey Hinto Jeffrey Hinto, the godfather of artificial intelligence, quit his job at Google and pointed out the dangerous dangers of tech robotic devices or chatbots. Question 49 how much money has the government allocated to expand the Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana? A. 20,000 crore rupees. B. 30,000 crore rupees. C. 40,000 crore rupees. D. 50,000 crore rupees. The correct answer is B. 30,000 crore rupees. The government has allocated 30,000 crore rupees to expand the Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana portal. Question 50. Indian Air Force Officer Air Marshal Sadhana Saxena Nair was made the Director General, DG, of the Military Hospital Service, MHS, on 23rd October 2023. A. Mandeep Kaur B. Ahema Desai C. Sudha Nair D. Vaishnavi Bhargava The correct answer is C. Sadhana Nair Sudha Nair has become the first woman officer in the country to hold this post. Question 51. What was the purpose of the Gaganyaan Mission TV D1 test flight? A. To evaluate the performance of drogue parachutes in stabilizing the spacecraft and decelerating it during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. B. To assist the crew escape system and parachute-based deceleration system under various flight conditions. C. To simulate Earth-like atmospheric conditions and ensure crew safety. D. All of the above. The correct answer is, A. Gaganyaan Mission TV D1 test flight was designed to evaluate the performance of drogue parachutes in stabilizing the spacecraft and decelerating it during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. Question 52. Which is the only bank in India that allows customers to use any name as account number? A. Axis Bank B. ICICI Bank 
C. Indian Overseas Bank D. Indian Bank The correct answer is C. Indian Overseas Bank Question 53 The US imposed sanctions on three Chinese firms for allegedly supplying missile components to which country? A. India B. China C. Pakistan D. Bangladesh The correct answer is C. Pakistan The US imposed sanctions on three Chinese firms, General Technology Limited, Beijing Luo Luo Technology Development, and Changzhou Ute Composite Company for allegedly supplying missile components to Pakistan. Question 54. Presently Monument Mitra scheme belongs to which of the following ministries? A. Ministry of Tribal Affairs B. Ministry of Culture C. Ministry of Earth Sciences D. Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change The correct answer is B. Ministry of Culture Presently Monument Mitra scheme belongs to Ministry of Culture. Earlier it was came under the Ministry of Tourism. Question 55 Which Indian player won the Abu Dhabi Masters Badminton 2023 Women's Singles title? A. Ankita Raina B. Unnati Hudda C. Aditi Sinha D. P. V. Sindhu The correct answer is B. Unnati Hudda. India's young badminton player Unnati Hudda has won the Abu Dhabi Masters 2023 Women's Singles Badminton title. She defeated Samia Imad Faruqi in the final. Question 56 Where will the Asian Para Games 2023 opening ceremony be held? A. Hangzhou, China B. Tokyo, Japan C. Seoul, South Korea D. Jakarta, Indonesia The correct answer is A. Hangzhou, China The Asian Para Games 2023 opening ceremony will take place in Hangzhou, China. Question 57 Who is the fastest player to reach 2,000 runs in ODIs? A. Shabman Gill B. Hashim Amla C. Surya Kumar Yadav D. Devon Conway The correct answer is A. Shabman Gill Shabman Gill, the dynamic Indian opener, has become the fastest player to reach 2,000 runs in ODIs. He achieved this feat in just 38 innings, surpassing the previous record set by Hashim Amla, who had done so in 40 innings. Question 58 in the light of an informal agreement between PM Narendra Modi and Australian PM Anthony Albanese, which of the following statements is are correct? 1. Australia will open a new Australian consulate in Bangalore. 2. India will open a new Indian consulate in Brisbane. The correct code is A. Only 1 B. Only 2 C. Both 1 and 2 D. Neither 1 nor 2 the correct answer is C. Both 1 and 2. Question 59. Which institution released the Women, Power and Cancer Report? A. WHO B. CDC C. Lancet Commission D. John Hopkins University The correct answer is C. Lancet Commission. A new Lancet Commission report highlights that women's experiences with cancer prevention, care, and treatment are negatively influenced by societal gender imbalances, resulting in greater suffering from the disease despite similar cancer burdens as men. Question 60. Which film received the Best Feature Film Award at the 69th National Film Awards? A. Rocketry B. Godavari C. RRR D. The Kashmir Files The correct answer is A. Rocketry it was awarded the best feature film. Question 61. Who launched Project Ubhav, an initiative by the Indian Army to blend ancient wisdom with modern military methods for tackling current security challenges? A. Narendra Modi B. Rajnath Singh C. General Manoj Pandey D. Giridhar Armani The correct answer is B. Rajnath Singh, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh launched Project Ubhav 
an initiative by the Indian Army to blend ancient wisdom with modern military methods for tackling current security challenges. Question 62. Which of the following countries will receive the largest quota of non-Basmati white rice exports from India? A. Nepal B. Cameroon C. Malaysia D. Philippines The correct answer is D. Philippines Philippines will receive the largest quota of non-Basmati white rice exports from India, with up to 295,000 metric tons eligible for export. Question 63. Which global company has entered liquefied natural gas market by acquiring Midocean Energy? A. Aramco B. Alphabet C. Apple D. Tesla The correct answer is A. Aramco Saudi Arabia-based top refineries company Aramco announced its first global investment in liquefied natural gas part of a broader bid by the energy giant to expand beyond oil. Question 64. Which Indian bowler became the first Indian bowler to pick to five wicket hauls in ICC ODI World Cups? A. Jaspreet Bumrah B. Ravindra Jadeja C. Mohammad Siraj D. Mohammad Shami The correct answer is D. Mohammad Shami Mohammad Shami became the first Indian bowler to pick to five wicket hauls in ICC ODI World Cups. Question 65. The Indian Air Force is set to replace all MiG-21 squadrons with which aircraft? A. LCA Mark 1A B. LCA Mark 2 C. Su-30 MKID HDT-40 The correct answer is A. LCA Mark 1A the Indian Air Force, IF, is set to replace all Russian-origin MiG-21 squadrons with the LCA Mark I by 2025. Question 66. Which region has been referred to as the world's largest open-air prison by various international entities? A. Taiwan B. Syria C. Gaza D. Iran The correct answer is C. Gaza Gaza, a narrow territory between the Mediterranean Sea, Israel, and Egypt, with a population of over 2 million Palestinians, has been subject to an air, land, and sea blockade since 2007. Question 67. The Reserve Bank of India, RBI, has imposed a penalty of 12 crore rupees on which bank for breaching rules related to the code of conduct for the bank's directors and for failing to report fraud incidents? A. HDFC Bank. B. ICICI Bank C. Axis Bank D. Kotak Mahindra Bank The correct answer is B. ICICI Bank The RBI imposed a penalty of 12 crore rupees on ICICI Bank for breaching rules related to the code of conduct for the bank's directors and for failing to report fraud incidents. Question 68 The UK government has collaborated with which Indian state for its smart district project? A. Kerala B. Tamil Nadu C. Gujarat D. Odisha The correct answer is B. Tamil Nadu The UK and Tamil Nadu collaborate on a smart technology project for sustainable water, waste, and resource management. Question 69 Mustafa Kemal Atatur 2023 was a military exercise between which two countries? A. Azerbaijan and Turkey B. Turkey and Saudi Arabia C. Russia and Belarus D. South Korea and Taiwan The correct answer is A. Azerbaijan and Turkey Azerbaijan announced that it would host military exercises with Turkey. The exercises will take place in several regions. The maneuvers are to mark the centenary of the Turkish Republic. Azerbaijan and Turkey are close allies. Question 70. Which state launched the Mitai scheme to offer free insulin therapy to diabetes patients? A. Tamil Nadu B. Kerala C. Telangana D. Odisha The correct answer is B. Kerala The Kerala state government, through the Kerala Social Security Mission, initiated the Mitai scheme in 2018. 
This program aimed to offer free insulin therapy and continuous glucose monitoring devices to individuals suffering from type 1 diabetes. Question 71. Lace announces which cricketer as its brand ambassador, starring in a campaign, No Lace, No Game. A. Viral Kohli B. Rohit Sharma C. Shubman Gill D. Mahendra Singh Dhoni The correct answer is D. Mahendra Singh Dhoni. Lace announces Mahendra Singh Dhoni as its brand ambassador, starring in a campaign No Lace, No Game. Question 72 Who has inaugurated the country's first nano dap plant in Gandhinagar, Gujarat? A. Amit Shah B. Narendra Modi C. Nitin Gadkari D. Mohan Bhagwat the correct answer is A. Amit Shah. Home Minister Mr. Amit Shah has inaugurated the country's first nano dap plant in Gandhinagar, Gujarat. Question 73. Which company launches DigiCovert program to fight online financial frauds in India? A. Microsoft. B. Google. C. Amazon. D. Tesla. The correct answer is B. Google. Google launches DigiCovert program to fight online financial frauds in India. Question 74. Which state government starts Mission Hope initiative to make state completely drug-free? A. Punjab B. Haryana C. Nagaland D. Goa The correct answer is A. Punjab The Punjab government starts Mission Hope initiative to make state completely drug-free. Question 75. Which country has named the cyclonic storm Hamu that arose in the Bay of Bengal? A. Bahrain B. Iran C. Indonesia D. Cuba The correct answer is B. Iran. Iran has named the cyclonic storm Hamu that arose in the Bay of Bengal. Question 76. Which country has the Union Cabinet approved the Memorandum of Cooperation for Semiconductor Supply Chain Partnership? A. France B. Germany C. Singapore D. Japan The correct answer is D. Japan. The Union Cabinet has approved the Memorandum of Cooperation between India and Japan on Japan-India Semiconductor Supply Chain Partnership. Question 77 which Indian won the gold medal in mains discus throw at the Asian Para Games? A. Atul Saxena B. Neeraj Yadav C. Rakesh Behra D. Mohit Sinha The correct answer is B. Neeraj Yadav India's Neeraj Yadav won the gold medal in the mains discus throw of the Asian Para Games. Question 78 Anubhav Award 2023 has been given by which Union Minister? A. Amit Shah B. Rajnath Singh C. Jitendra Singh D. Anurag Thakur The correct answer is C. Jitendra Singh The Department of Pension and Pensioners Welfare, DUPPW, has announced the Anubhav Awards for the year 2023. Experience Award Union Minister Dr. Provided by Jitendra Singh Question 79 Who is participating on behalf of India in the 7th Future Investment Initiative in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia? A. Union Minister Piyush Goyal B. Anuradha Thakur C. Nirmala Sitarman D. Imahua Moitra The correct answer is A. Union Minister Piyush Goyal the Union Minister Piyush Goyal is participating on behalf of India in the 7th Future Investment Initiative in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Question 80. The Government of India has started the Residential Education Scheme Shreshtha for which category of students? A. Scheduled Tribe B. Scheduled Caste C. Other Backward Classes D. For all categories of students. The correct answer is B. Scheduled caste. 
for the socio-economic upliftment and comprehensive development of scheduled caste students, the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment has launched Residential Education Scheme for Students in High Schools in Targeted Areas, Shreshta. Question 81. Agricultural University developed the PBW Rupees 1 Wheat Variety to Control Obesity and Diabetes? A. Himachal Pradesh Agriculture University B. Haryana Agriculture University C. Rajasthan Agriculture University D. Punjab Agricultural University The correct answer is D. Punjab Agricultural University The Punjab Agricultural University, PAU, in Ludhiana, known for its role in the Green Revolution, developed a new variety of wheat called PBW Rupees 1. This wheat variety has a high amylose starch content, which is known to reduce the risks of type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular diseases. Question 82. The team of which country won two gold medals at the 64th International Mathematical Olympiad in 2023 in Japan? A. India B. China C. Japan D. Finland The correct answer is A. India the six-member Indian team at the 64th International Mathematical Olympiad, IMO, 2023 held in Chiba, Japan, July 2-13, 2023, secured to gold, to silver, and to bronze medals and finished ninth out of 112 countries. Question 83. In which state was Project Gaza Potha launched? A. Kerala B. Assam C. Bihar D. Gujarat. The correct answer is B. Assam. Assam launched Project Gaja Kotha in an effort to mitigate the escalating human elephant conflict HEC, issue. The campaign involves more than 1,200 individuals and promotes coexistence. Question 84. Which actor is said to be inducted as a national icon by the Election Commission EC? A. Amir Khan. B. Rajkumar Rao. C. Sunny Deul D. Amitabh Bachchan The correct answer is B. Rajkumar Rao Actor Rajkumar Rao, celebrated for his portrayal of a principal government clerk in the Hindi film Newton, tasked with conducting elections in the Naxal-affected areas of Chhattisgarh, individuals, and promotes coexistence. Question 85 In which state the drive against child marriages was relaunched in September? A. Manipur B. Uttar Pradesh C. Uttarakhand D. Assam The correct answer is D. Assam. The last such drive in February caused a commotion across the state after 4,235 complaints were registered and more than 3,000 people, including 93 women, were arrested for involvement in child marriage. Question 86 Carlos Alcaraz, who won his first Wimbledon title, Belongs to which country? A. Germany B. Spain C. Portugal D. Italy The correct answer is B. Spain Spain's Carlos Alcaraz defeated seven-time champion Novak Djokovic to claim his first Wimbledon title. Question 87 Who has launched a novel comic book titled Let's Move Forward on 29th August 2023 at Kaushal Bhavan? New Delhi A. Amit Shah B. Idharmend Pradhan C. Anuradha Thakur D. Rajnath Singh The correct answer is B. Dharmend Pradhan Union Education and Skill Development Entrepreneurship Minister Sri Dharmend Pradhan, who has launched a novel comic book titled Let's Move Forward on 29th August 2023, at Kaushal Bhavan, New Delhi. Question 88. Freedom fighter Sankariya to get an honorary doctorate from Madurai Kamaraj University of which state? A. Kerala B. Uttarakhand C. Tamil Nadu D. Rajasthan The correct answer is C. Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin announced that Madurai Kamaraj University will confer an honorary doctorate on freedom fighter and communist leader N. Sankariya who turned 102. Question 89. What is Asinatobacter bomini, which was seen in the news? 
ए क्रिप्टो करेंसी बी मेलवेव सी बैक्टीरिया डी एनिमल स्पीशीज द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी बैक्टीरिया एसनेट बैक्टर बॉमनी द मल्टीड्रग रेजिस्टेंट बैक्टीरिया इज अ रेड एलर्ट पैथोजन नोटोरियस फॉर इट्स एबिलिटी टू रेजिस्ट मेनी एंटीबायोटिक्स क्वेश्चन 90 ब्लैक वेन व्हाइट बटरफ्लाई वाज रिसेंटली स्पॉटेड इन व्हिच सिटी ए न्यू दिल्ली बी लंदन सी इन न्यूयॉर्क डी पेरिस द करेक्ट आंसर इज बी लंदन द ब्लैक वेन व्हाइट बटरफ्लाई अपोरिया क्रेटीजी व्हिच बिकेम एक्सटिंक्ट इन ब्रिटेन अ सेंचुरी अगो मेड अ रीअपीयरेंस रिसेंटली इन लंदन क्वेश्चन 91 Which institution launched the national campaign addiction free Amrit Kaal? A. Niti Aayog. B. FSSAI. C. NCPCR. D. IMA. The correct answer is C. NCPCR. The national campaign addiction free Amrit Kaal was recently launched by the National Commission for Protection of Child. Question 92. The government has decided to seize the sale of which products from Central Pool through Open Market Sales Scheme (OMSS) to states: A. Rice. B. Wheat. C. Rice and wheat. D. Sugar. The correct answer is C. Rice and wheat. The government has decided to seize the sale of rice and wheat from the Central Pool through the Open Market Sales Scheme (OMSS) to state governments. Question 93 As per a recent security pact Papua Guinea allowed which country to station troops and vessels at six key ports and airports A China B Russia C USA D Germany The correct answer is C USA The US military can develop and operate out of bases in Papua New Guinea Question 94 Which state passed a bill amending procedure to select police chief by cutting out role of UPSC? A Tamil Nadu. B Punjab. C Karnataka. D Odisha. The correct answer is B Punjab. The Punjab Police Amendment Bill 2023 was recently passed by the State Assembly to cut out the role of the Union Public Service Commission in selecting the Director General of Police. Question 95 Which country has officially embedded its nuclear weapon status in its constitution A Israel B UAE C North Korea D Russia The correct answer is C North Korea North Korea has adopted a constitutional amendment to solidify its nuclear force policy Question 96 Which state is set to conduct socio-economic assessment of indigenous Muslim communities? A. West Bengal. B. Assam. C. Gujarat. D. Bihar. The correct answer is B. Assam. The Assam government has announced plans to conduct a socio-economic survey of the state's five indigenous Muslim communities to determine measures for their upliftment. Question 97. Which country's Congress has approved a bill that would abolish income tax? A. Brazil. B. Canada. C. Italy. D. Argentina. The correct answer is D. Argentina. Argentina's Congress has approved a bill that would abolish income tax. Question 98. When is the International Day of Older Persons celebrated? A. 30th September. B 1st October C 2nd October D 3rd October The correct answer is B 1st October The International Day of Older Persons is celebrated on 1st October every year It is a day to recognize the contributions of older persons and to examine issues that affect their lives Question 99 The first National Center for Marine Biodiversity NCMB of India is situated at A Mumbai B Jamnagar C Bhavnagar D Puducherry The correct answer is B Jamnagar The first National Center for Marine Biodiversity NCMB of India is situated at Jamnagar 
Gujarat for safeguarding the biodiversity of the coastal areas. Question 100. Which Indian origin businessman has been elected as mayor of the London Borough of Southwark for the second time? A. Sam Dalton. B. Sunil Chopra. C. Gautam Adani. D. Neeraj Patil. The correct answer is B. Sunil Chopra. He is the first Indian origin person to hold the prestigious office in the borough. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you will find this video useful. Please like, share and subscribe this YouTube channel to get latest videos on current affairs and other topics for various competitive exams.